Hi Cancer, it is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. I generally do love readings, but we're going to see what comes up. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of December. I want to remind you that time is fluid. This is being recorded in November, all right? So this could be happening in November, but it's meant for December. It could be happening in January, okay? Just because time is fluid. And this may not resonate with you, okay? It may not, because there's no way that I can read for everybody, all right? Um, in a general reading. I have pre-shuffled, so I'm going to lay out these cards here in just a moment. Looks pretty good. All right. I'm going to just make sure that is zoomed in correctly. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. The basis of your reading is the hangman. Okay. When the hangman comes up in the reading, it feels like, or it says that you have been resisting a change. All right. You've been resisting a change, but you're struggling through it. Okay. So this month, maybe you're stepping down. Maybe you're no longer resisting the change. Maybe you're going with it. Because I see something new is being handed to you. I see a new opportunity handed to you from above. It's like a new gift. You are definitely getting a gift this December. Okay? It's something, um, a new beginning. All right? I do see that we have, like, um, it's either a gift it's either, it's something new on a physical level right here. So it can be a new partner. It can be a new love. It can be a gift of money. It can be um, something new on a tangible level, okay? So many of you are receiving something new that's big, okay? Um, it could be a gift, a financial gift, all right? I do feel like it, oh, for many of you this has to do with love, though, okay? Because we do have a partnership here. And we do have some heartache. So I think many of you have been through a period of um, heartbreak, okay? It feels like, you know, you're suffering. You've been through some suffering and perhaps that's starting to go away, okay? It look maybe that's what your gift is. The suffering starts to dissolve. The insecurity starts to go away because we have happiness. We have bliss and contentment in a partnership where perhaps somebody wasn't fully committing to you or you weren't fully committing to them. Perhaps they weren't allowing this um, love to blossom. But it feels like somebody has worked on mastering their emotions and they're making progress and that could be you or the other person but I think you're making progress in regards to a relationship more happiness is coming back okay more contentment more love all right I think there was a period of insecurity but I think that's over I, okay I really do I think the secure insecurity that you've been going through the past few months is starting to dissolve because this feels like it's more of a a positive month where you're feeling um, more loved, okay? I feel like um, we have new growth within a relationship or within a partnership. There's new growth, whereas I think things might have been stagnant or not going the way you had hoped. They may have been a little chaotic or disorganized. I think that's not the case anymore. I think this month, balance is coming back. I think that one phase, probably of a relationship, because it looks like we have a partnership here that has gone through a struggle. It's gone through a struggle. It's gone through some 
um, anguish and there's been some suffering probably on both parts some heartache okay and I feel like that is over and it's many of you are starting a new phase with this world card this is the outcome when the world card comes out in the outcome position something big has ended that that took a toll on you or affected you in a big way it's some kind of project or phase that really took up a lot of your time and energy it's over now okay something is ending so that something better can begin when the world card comes in it means celebrate your success you've learned something big it's time to start your new chapter okay i think a new door is opening you've manifested it all right you have i these are the rods of love and it's also happening very fast with a partner it brings happiness all right it could be somebody from your past and I think that you really don't need to worry about it if you feel like you aren't good enough or if your insecurities start to creep up on you that's unnecessary worry don't let that happen okay because I feel like you're going to be very 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 happy I think you're being handed a new opportunity and that you should accept it, don't resist it, okay? Let this door open, go with it, start the new phase, move forward, okay? Keep going. Don't let fear drive, okay? You drive this ship, okay? Be careful if you stay stuck. If you stay stuck in your current situation, that's where you'll be. This card says, hold on a minute. Think twice about what you do. Okay? If, the, if a door opens, don't resist it. Don't resist it. If you, get, if you get handed a new opportunity, a new relationship or something, and you're single, and you've been hurt, and you feel like resisting it because your heart's been broken recently, don't. Unless you want to stay there. Do you really want to stay stuck? Do you really want to stay stuck in a situation that um, won't bring you happiness, won't help you start your new phase? Hold on a minute. Think twice about your decisions. Just because your heart's been broke doesn't mean the next one is going to do that, okay? We have... For some of somebody that's watching this reading, somebody from your childhood, doesn't have to be somebody you dated, somebody that you knew a very long time ago, either from a past life even, or from, you know, a long time ago, may come back into your life, all right? The trick is not to resist it, okay? Now, this may not be for everybody. All right. I do see that there's a divine connection here. So I think that for many of you, this is destiny. Okay. Everything that has happened is destiny. We have divine um, intervention here with these, especially these four majors all connected. Okay. There's a transformation needed. One lesson has been learned. Accept it. Don't stay stuck in your current situation. Let this new gift from above come in. Accept the new gift. Okay? It may need you may need to change. And that can be a little scary to change, especially if you've been hurt by a partner. Okay? But I see whoever this is that's coming into your life or whoever is in your life right now, there's a partnership, there's love, there's attraction. All right. This can even be a reconciliation after a period of heartache, after a period of insecurity. You could be reconciling with somebody, even from if you maybe you did date this person in the past. Okay. Either way, I see new opportunities for growth being handed to you from above this December. Consider it a gift. I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. Do 
don't resist change. I see that many of you may want to resist change. Let the change happen. This is you wanting to resist a change. This is telling me you need a change. The change just wants to come in, and it's going to come in. You've been manifesting it, whether you know it or not. Many of you know you have, and you've been doing it on purpose, but some of you don't. You've been manifesting this new door opening. And this new door is opening for you this holiday season. I'm telling you what, it's going to bring a lot of happiness. You're, you're making progress. Absolutely. I see a victory and success. Absolutely, victory and success is all over in this reading. Excitement, change, unwarranted insecurity. A need to think twice before you stay stuck in a situation. Do the right thing for you, please. It's time to do the right thing for you. Whatever is causing you to resist change, it was karmic, okay? Make sure you make the right choice this time unless you want to go through that again. All right. Yeah, you need to let something end. Could be a Scorpio. You need to bring back the balance to your life, all right? It's time to bring back the balance and the harmony. It's time to get your life back on track. There's definitely a transformation here with these two cards. And I think that for many of you, you've been resisting it. But I don't, you've been, it's kind of like a contradiction. Because you've been resisting it, but you've been manifesting it. You've been resisting the change, but you've been manifesting it. Because it's on your mind so much. You want this union. You want this love. You want this partnership. But I see that you had to struggle through something that is ending or, or has ended. You've had to struggle through it. But it leads to a renewal. It leads to a rebirth. Okay? You have this card twice and they're right next to each other. And then we also now we have four ones. One, 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 eleven, eleven. Ones are instant manifestation. Many of you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time as well. Your power to manifest is huge. Your thought becomes your thoughts become things, as I was just telling you. Like I said, it's a contradiction. We don't need to go back there, but you know I always repeat myself. On one hand you're resisting the change, but on the other hand you're thinking about love so much. That it's manifesting. You are manifesting without even knowing it. Many of you. Your thoughts become things and that's what's going on. And it's happening quickly. One one's ones are fast moving energy. Okay? Seriously. You, many of you have a divine connection. You're going through a spiritual awakening and you may not even know it. Your power to manifest is huge. And whatever you're thinking is coming down the pipeline. Positive or negative, whatever you're thinking is going coming down the pipeline. That's how divine of a connection this is. It's time to release all that no longer serves you. Okay? It is. There's an ending that you need to let go of. It's causing you insecurity. All right? For many of you, you could certainly be getting some gifts of money. Okay, I just have to throw that out there. I feel like there's unnecessary worry about finances. And I know this is a change, of course, but this is a general reading. And generally my readings are love readings, but there is a lot of... It looks like for many of you, there could be an increase in salary, or you could be getting an unexpected gift of money. Absolutely. Happiness, bliss, contentment is your outcome. You are about to start a new phase of your life. 
It's a gift from above, believe it or not. And you've manifested it. You have. This could be a gift of money. But either way, it's a gift from above. They, the, whoever it is, somebody, I don't know. You're being given something big that is going to help you with the next phase of your life. When the world card comes out, it means one struggle is over. One phase of your life is over. And it's, you're about to start a new one. And it is going to be very beautiful. Okay? There's going to be a lot of happiness. I think this is a struggle within a relationship. Okay? Maybe one relationship is ending and a new one is beginning. Maybe one has ended and a new one is beginning. Okay? This is for hundreds and thousands of people. So it may not resonate with you. This is a general reading for the general population, the sign of Cancer, Sun sign and rising sign. It may not resonate with everybody. For somebody, somebody from your childhood or somebody that you knew a long, long time ago is coming back into your life. And you are being asked not to resist change, to accept it, to accept the new opportunity. Let something end and so that you can have this rebirth, so that you can have this new start. Let something end. When something ends, like this death, when it ends, it means that something more beautiful, more, more along your soul's journey, your soul's path is going to begin. You've learned a major lesson. I see that. When the world card comes out, it means you've learned something big. In 2017, this is December 2017, but I, this world card comes out in your December spread to let me know that 2017 taught you something big. And I think it had something to do with doing the right thing for you. Okay? Because when justice comes out... It means, just to be honest, do the right thing for you, okay? Some, let something become final. This is also finality. And I think there's a relationship, a partnership that has ended that you need to just make, let it end. Cut the cord. For real. Release the heaviness that that brought to your life. Release it. And as soon as you do, this new opportunity is going to come in. This is for the sign of cancer. I think you're being asked to look at things from a new perspective, a new outlook. Stop resisting change. All right? Stop resisting it. Let your rebirth happen. It's time to work on yourself. It's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to close one chapter. A new door is opening it. It is opening. A new door is opening. Please let it open. Accept it as a gift. Ooh. This one fell out. The card is have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough doing oh, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy your courage and faith. Have confidence. This is perfect because I think many of you are resisting it. You're resisting or you will in December, because this is being recorded in November. Okay, you may resist this new opportunity that's coming in. This Ace of Pentacles is a new opportunity. Okay, it's a new 
stability. It's a new security. It's a, something new on a physical level, level. You have it twice that wants to come in. But this card tells me that you might want to resist it. Okay, this hangman being the basis of your reading says you might want to resist it because you haven't let go of a past relationship. Okay, you haven't really let go of a past partnership. But it's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to let it end so this new beginning can start. Have confidence, okay? Please, have faith. In divine timing have faith in the above have faith in the plan I think somebody from your past for many of you is going to come back into your life it doesn't have to be somebody you dated but you will be familiar with this person put it that way and it's going to lead to happiness okay happiness and a union attraction love all right, just let it happen. Please try try not to resist it. If you do, you're going to stay stuck where you are right now. So Cancer, this is for December, December 2017. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I will talk to you guys next week.